Hey guys, Money Man 300 back for some more Forza 5 videos, and this is going to be our Class R reveal for the red and blue for 1 and 2. We're going to go through the cars, and this obviously isn't one of them. This is our S Class, so let's hop in here, show you guys the three cars we're using, and talk a little bit about our class. Originally, we were going to stop after S. That was kind of the plan all along, and, and Project Cars was going to be out, and we figured we'd kind of be onto that for a little bit. Uh, project cars is delayed now we got some little extra time and we are in our class and it, the reason for that is is i'm not a big fan of our class and above racing it just isn't what i do i don't like the way people race in those classes typically it's in my opinion far worse and it's all about who can make it through the first one or two turns and it's rare to come back from a you know getting banged up early and then getting all the way back to first in our class there's always somebody that gets out front and just runs away from a race so um I, I, you know from the times i've raced our class we're not a huge fan of it and plus you don't have quite the variety of cars in that and in, in that and a lot of people using a lot of the same cars and you have to right it's just I, now, what I really like, I really love driving in our class. I like the speed of the cars. I like how they handle. I like the cars. I just don't like the multiplayer racing and how they break down. But anyway, we did decide to move on to our class. So that is on. And let's take a look at our cars. So move over. And I'll, I'm just going to do these in order that they come up. So the first one, this is going to be our momentum. Prague, Alps, Spa. You know, you'll see us racing on probably several other things also. And that's the number seven, the 007 Aston Martin Racing DBR9. So pretty cool car. I love the way this car sounds. It really, that engine really winds up there. Sounds super cool. So that is our first car that we're going to be running. And you can see the numbers there. You know, okay, speed, 6.9, really good handling. Car really turns, can really get after it a little bit. Uh, nine point gets off the line well so so good car all around uh, so that's the that's our first car second car is and you can see i tried to stick with even though it's red blue i wanted to put since it's you know in honor of our class have some racing type paint jobs on there and I, you know i should you know at least give guys credit let's do that real quick so we're gonna get in the car and i want to show you guys in case you guys want to get the paint job and just to make sure i'm giving credit where credit is due on these i want can i see like can i see I think I've done this before and had so fine like my designs. Oh man, am I gonna have to find this one? So here you go. So I believe there you go. So that one is by so the the design for this one is Magix Ninja. So pretty cool. Somebody go out and give him. You know, I'm gonna give him a like. Somebody give him a like. 441 layers in this paint job. I think it looks pretty cool. I think he deserves uh, some more stuff on there. The other one is the number 92 Ray Hall Letterman Racing. And that is by JTMX17. Also, I think is pretty cool here. Um, and it got, I was looking for ones that were blue, and it came up almost 2,000 layers. So again, get this guy a rating out there, um, out there support these guys, these painters that do all their work. And I'm gonna back up now. We're gonna go back into my cars. We're gonna sort back on R, and I want to show you guys the third. So those, so oh, technically, this is our grip car. I didn't even talk about this when I got all caught up in the paint job stuff. So uh, this is the uh, this is our grip car. So this is gonna be our shorter track car. Um, got that you know, acceleration is about the same. I, I don't know that the numbers on this are particularly different. Actually, our you know our Austin D, the cars kind of merge, right? The, either one of these could do well in grip. Either one could do on momentum. We just picked this one for grip. And you can see the numbers there, 6.9 speed, 6.7 handling, 9.1 acceleration, 8.7 launch. And it's pretty good. I mean, it's it's very good car, but it doesn't compete with some of the other super grip cars, you know, like the, the open wheel. But you don't, those guys don't run those a lot out there. So it's going to be an interesting one. My prediction is it'll be the last one we finish out of the three. But still, sounds cool, fun car to drive. And just overall, I really like the car. And our last one is the saline s7 and this is a speed beast you can see it on there 9.6 speed um, and just it motors and it's it's fun to drive and does real well on those speed type classes and we didn't look at the paint job on that one yet but i will take you in uh, just to get you guys a heads up on what the paint is for that one so let's do that right now so th that is the third of the three cars and let's go over to our paint let's uh my designs there, there's got to be a better way to do this but my designs and let's go over to saline 
Oh, oh. Okay. Where am I at? BMW, Lamborghini, BMW. Oh, it doesn't go in order? Well, that's just dumb. All right, well, you guys have to just find a blue one of those since I can't really see. I just assumed it was like in some sort of order. So I got a lot of cars to go through if I had to do this. Am I even getting close to... Now I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission now. I'm going to find that car. I've, I've come too far. I have that one. Why wouldn't they put them together, right? Then there's another S7 one. Right? That's pretty cool. This was the one I had on it before. Um, does it go in? It must go in. Is it going to order? Was it like... Oh, my God. <laughs> it was at the beginning. All right. Anyway, uh, you know, not a ton of la layers in there, but I still think it's a cool paint job. Only 36 layers. Um, Ace WRF. So that's the paint job on those. Now, let's hop over and, you know, I usually do. I kind of show these cars on the leaderboards to see, you know, get a kind of an idea, you know, where these things shake out at. So let's go over to our class and kind of give you guys a, a feel for, you know, why we chose them, what they are. So the first one, I like to look at stab plats and those. Yeah, the Pagani Zonda is good. That's why we didn't, you know, it's like real good. That's why we didn't choose that one. Uh, you will see this one pop in there. You know, he's up in there at 30 nights. It's not that this one isn't good. Um, you, so it's probably the second best car on this track. But that M3 race is good also. The number 92. I mean, a lot of, a lot of different cars could start to mix in there. So that's where you kind of see the, the DVR. You know, we want to look at uh, grip car type stuff. We can start to look at Catalonia. And you get past all of the... Ferrari 312s and the Chaparral's. I don't know. Did the 92 BMW even good on this one? That's that's why I predict that it's going to be the hardest of the cars to finish. Um, maybe we'll move on over to Laguna Seca. Get us a little bit better look here. McLaren number 66, number 66, the McLaren M23. A lot of these are open wheel or just that different, that sh chaparral. So you can see, definitely not a leaderboard car. There's one right there. 361st place, the first time you see that car start to pop up. So that one's going to be interesting. Uh, potentially a little more difficult to complete. And we look at our speed. Oh, let's go over here and take a look at like Sebring Short. It's a good one to look at. And you can see right there, that is actually, is that like yesterday's date? So yeah, it was just that's just that's a multiplayer run that I was doing there, a multiplayer race that I actually won, just practicing for uh, this and got into 269. So uh, San Leon S7 is pretty good. Let's see, yeah, there's one all, all the way up in 20th there. Right, that's Roadrunner. Put one up in there. Uh, you can see a mixed in here, so it's pretty good. You know, it's as good as any other cars for speed cars. There's a lot of them though, right? There's a lot of different cars you could see in here. The speed cars are actually really well um, done up. Sir. So that's our three cars. Going to be interesting in our class. So we'll see what happens here. Um, could be fun. Could be frustrating. Probably going to be a little bit of both. But that's what makes the series interesting. You get to see real life, right? What, you know, real reactions and, you know, unfiltered results in every race. So anyways, going to end up with that. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.